Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Listen, I hope you're having a great weekend. We're currently on 137 subscribers. If you are new to the channel, hit subscribe and let's get straight into today's topic. Listen, just before I say that though, if you are new to Trading 2 on 2, there's a link down below in the description. You can use that to sign up and get a free share when you deposit and start investing. So use that link and let's get into today's topic. So today we're going to be covering a little bit about the risks and also bringing some things into your awareness when you're looking at the Bitcoin miners like Marathon Digital Holdings, Riot Blockchain and CleanSpark. Why have we not seen them price increases despite the fact that Bitcoin, the biggest catalyst for each of these stocks, is at round about all time high levels? So Marathon Digital Holdings is currently trading at $19 a share at the time of making this video. Riot Platforms is currently trading at $11 a share at the time of making this video. And CleanSpark is currently trading around about that sweet $17 a share at the time of making this video. But if you look deeper into these photos, you can see Marathon Digital Holdings has been on the decline in the last month and so has Riot Platforms in the last month. Clean Spark has also been doing something very similar. Yet if you look at it, you can see that Bitcoin's price has actually been on the increase in the last month. This is the biggest catalyst for each of these stocks. Bitcoin's price increasing, you would expect Marathon Digital Holdings price to increase and Riot and Clean Spark as well, yet they've not done so. Why is that? We're going to talk about that just now. If you look at the last bull market, you can see Riot Platforms was trading round about $70 a share last time and you can see Marathon Digital Holdings was trading round about $55 a share last time as well. This was in Bitcoin was at its all time high price, yet we've not seen this reflected in Marathon and Riot. I do want to quickly say I am not against Marathon Digital Holdings, I am not against Riot Block chain i'm simply making you aware of some factors that have existed this time around compared to the last bull market i've held these stocks for a long time now around about two and a half years and i'm well aware that i want them to do well and i hope you do as well but we need to be aware of these factors too so number one there is no bitcoin etfs that exist on the market and essentially fred teal has said that this is a problem slightly for the miners given the fact that ETFs didn't exist in the last bull market cycle and institutional investors are now looking for alternative ways to invest indirectly to Bitcoin. So what they've done is they've pulled money out of Marathon Digital Holdings, Riot Blockchain and they've moved it across into the ETFs and in turn we've seen a slight decrease in Marathon Digital Holdings and the other miners prices as a result of this. These ETFs didn't exist the last two years, so this has caused a lot of people to move over into something they see being a slightly less risky. So you could say, why does that make it slightly less risky? Well, you need to consider the fact that these are Bitcoin miners, they mine Bitcoin. And what happens every four years in Bitcoin's code is that Bitcoin essentially goes through a halving phase. This means that Bitcoin's reward for the miners who work hard to complete the code on Bitcoin's network essentially get paid Bitcoin and that decreases in halves every four years and we've got that coming up around the corner so the miners are skeptical to potentially losing the amount of bitcoin that they can get out of the network every four years as a result of the bitcoin having and this is just around the corner so this is also in the back of people's mind you could sit and argue well that doesn't really matter so much because the marathon digital holdings bitcoin holdings are going to go up in price as a result of bitcoin becoming more scarce that is true yes but the miners need to innovate because over four years and then in the next four years they're going to lose a lot of their mining output and as a result they're going to generate big costs trying to get that bitcoin out of the system but they're going to get less bitcoin for doing so so the etfs have caused a slight problem and so has the bitcoin having this has caused a lot of people to pull out of the stock and in turn we've seen people move away to different alternatives like the etfs and also just not be as interested in marathon digital holdings or riot blockchain because these were the top picks in the last bull market and now there's less eyes on them but at the same time you also have to consider the fact that these stocks have been held back as a result of market makers these stocks have been heavily shorted we've seen that marathon digital holdings has currently got short interest around about 14 to 15 percent and marathon digital holdings isn't the only one riot blockchain also has experienced this and so has clean spark but 
Now that we've seen a bit of a pullback, we can also expect moving forward that short interest is going to go down because people take profits and this in turn will see less pressure and less holding back on these stocks moving forward as good news comes out. Again though, this isn't the only thing that has happened. We've seen share dilution take place across the companies. Given the fact that Bitcoin has been at an all-time low in the last year, year and a half, I say all-time low but I mean in the last bull market to the last bear market, essentially Bitcoin went to about 16 k and this has caused the miners to effectively not make any money so they've had to dilute their shares in order to stay afloat and that's what they've done so essentially if you own one share and they do a share dilution that one share you've got then becomes essentially 0.5 percent of a share because there's more shares that exist the shares aren't as scarce so the value ends up depreciating because there's more shares about so with all this in mind we've seen the etfs have came onto the market and taken some of that market share from and digital holdings riot and other miners we've also seen that the bitcoin halving is around the corner and in turn the miners are going to get less output so people will probably divert themselves away from the the miners as well and we've also seen some market makers holding down the shares and share dilutions in themselves have caused a decrease in the price what's going to be the catalyst moving forward what do we do do we hold on to these stocks what do we do what do you think let me know in the comments below but this is personally what i'm going to wait for well first of all bitcoin is no we're near at its all-time high price for this bull market as you know bitcoin has been expected to go upwards towards 100k this will definitely see the miners move upwards in a better trend moving forward also keep in mind that we have the earnings reports coming out in may these earnings reports are expected to be very positive given the fact that bitcoin has been at a good price uh math and digital holdings all their miners all hold this bitcoin in their balance sheet and in turn they will expect to see some positive returns given the fact that Bitcoin has increased in value. So the earnings reports in May are going to be positive and in turn we can expect the price to go back up as well. And number three, the fact that the ETFs have been on the market now for around about two months, we'll expect to see a lot of people from pulling out of these miners move back into it as the earnings reports are expected to come out as Bitcoin's price goes up. And there's other institutional investors, other retail traders that will go back towards the miners miners or just become aware of the miners and invest in them as they see the price going up as a result of the earnings and as a result of Bitcoin going up in price too. So we can expect to see a lot more people moving back into these actual stocks and in turn the price will increase again like i said i'm not bashing these stocks i'm just making you aware of certain factors that have held them down over the last month or two i'm going to be holding on to them i've sold a little bit of marathon digital holdings to move it back into micro strategy because that has been falling bitcoin's price a lot more effectively than the miners has been so this has been a move on my side but overall i'm still holding strong with these stocks and i do believe they'll move back upwards in a good direction again Anyway guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. We're moving in the right direction, upwards towards that 1000 mark. It's going to happen, give it time. Listen, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you later.